What's up you guys, it's Hannah, welcome back to my channel. So I actually did film me introducing this video and also going to Duncan, but due to personal reasons and this angle, which cuts off half of my head, we are going to skip all of that and just get right on into it. All right, so I'm gonna do this in my car if nobody minds because uh, my room is an absolute disaster. It looks like a tornado went through it, so I don't really feel like dealing with that right now. So I'm just gonna do this in my car. Let's first assess the situation. I went to Duncan and I picked up four coffees and these are supposed to be their four holiday ones. So I have two hot drinks and two iced drinks and I'm not gonna front when I say that this one, the, what is this? gingerbread latte or whatever. It has this like cinnamon sugar mixture on top. I don't know if you can see that. And it looks freaking amazing. So if it doesn't taste freaking amazing, I'm gonna be super disappointed. So let's review what we got. So our first hot drink, this is the chai oat milk latte. And then we have another hot one. This is the peppermint mocha signature latte. Then we have the sugar plum macchiato. So we have this purple substance down here that we will have to investigate. Try and figure out the truth. And then finally we have have an iced gingerbread signature latte, the one with the cinnamon sugar mixture on top. So those are our four contestants today. I think that I want to begin with the hot drinks because to be honest, I'm more excited about the iced one. So I want to do those last. I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the Starbucks video and, you know, taste them, rate them out of 10, and then put them in order out of the four of them, first place, second, third, and fourth, based on my own personal opinion and my own personal taste buds. All right, without further ado, let's get started with our first drink. Okay. Okay, so our first drink is going to be the chai oat milk latte. Personally, I really enjoy chai. I get it at Starbucks sometimes. Hopefully this will be good. I mean, I don't really know how this is a holiday flavor, but it was on there. It just smells really nice and spiced and I'm here for it. Okay. I thoroughly enjoy this. I would get this, you know, just on my own. That is, this is really good. Oh man, it makes me feel very nice and cozy and it just makes me feel safe, honestly. I don't know what to rate it. Oh, here we go again with me being indecisive and dramatic. I think I'm gonna give it a 9.5 out of 10. I don't know why I'm taking off 0.5. Maybe we'll reevaluate later, but for right now, the chai gets a 9.5 out of 10 just simply because chai is very good. I enjoy it a lot. Wow, so we started off on a really good note here. Let's keep it going. The next drink, I'm gonna do another hot one. This is the peppermint mocha signature latte. We tried a peppermint mocha in the Starbucks video and I was pleasantly surprised by it and I actually enjoyed it, so. Let's see. Okay, so you know how I said in the Starbucks video, sorry I keep referencing that, but no, I'm not sorry. This is my channel, I can do what I want. I said in the Starbucks video that I enjoyed Thin Mints, like Girl Scouts Thin Mints, because they were, like they had peppermint in them, but they were more chocolatey to me than they were pepperminty. But I didn't like York peppermint patties because they, on the other hand, were more pepperminty to me and not as much chocolatey. And I'm like not the largest fan of peppermint. This is giving me more peppermint. Given the fact that I am not the biggest peppermint fan, I can't say that this is my favorite. Yeah, this was given to me for free. Like if somebody got this drink for free, why am I sweating? If someone got this drink for free and offered it to me, I would take it and I would drink it, but it's just not something that I would actively seek out due to the stronger presence of peppermint. I also just don't feel like the flavors blend together as well as the other one that I tried. No, no, I'm not really a fan of this. I'm gonna have to give it like a four out of 10, honestly. Not my favorite, no offense, no offense, but yeah, not my favorite. So four out of 10 is what it's gonna have to be. Okay, so we have two more. I think I'm gonna do this one next. The iced gingerbread signature latte with the whipped cream or whatever on top and the sugar and cinnamon that just, oh my God, this looks decadent. It smells so good. Should I like mix this in? Is that what we do? Right, I'm just gonna mix this a little, see if that does something. But I'm glad that I have this because I could use a refreshment after drinking the two hot drinks. Here goes nothing with this one. I want this to be good so badly. Okay.
No cap. No cap. This is so good. <laughs> this is fucking delicious. I am so happy that this is as good as it is. 10 out of 10. It has to be. It has to be. There, that 10 out of 10. This is fucking decadent. I need a second. That shit slaps. You know what I mean? Oh my god. Oh my god. Which brings us to our final drink. And the one that I think I'm the most confused about and also intrigued by. And that is the iced sugar plum macchiato. I don't understand what this is. I'm gonna look it up because I genuinely need to know. Sugar plum macchiato. Okay. Features the bright berry flavors of blueberry, raspberry, blackberry, and plum accented by notes of vanilla and rounded out with a sweet sugary finish. Okay, um, that's a lot of fruit. All right, well, upon mixing, it's no longer purple. I expected that, but I cannot get over the gingerbread one. Oh my God, that was so good. I guess we should just dive right into this one. I don't like anything about this. The initial taste is very confusing, but the aftertaste is even more confusing. People said this was good? God, what? For me, that's a two out of 10. I would give it lower, but I feel bad doing so. I love Dunkin'. I just, I'm so sorry, but oh no. It tastes like what I would imagine if you like took rocks and like ground them and you basically drank rocks, like grounded down rocks. I feel like that would taste like this. All right, we're gonna go back to our tried and true because this, whoo, this was the winner today. I'm really happy about this because I now found a new um, anyway, I now found a new drink to get at Dunkin', which is exciting so I can switch it up for my iced coffee. So our ranking goes as follows. In first place, we have the Ice Gingerbread Signature Latte. She is fantastic. Second place, we have the Chai Oat Milk Latte. You can't go wrong with chai and oat milk. You really can't. It's a good second place victory for that one. Yeah, so the other two. In third place, we have the Peppermint Mocha Signature Latte. I'm not a fan of it so third place finally coming in last place we have the uh iced sugar plum macchiato anyone who enjoys this drink i genuinely want to know why please comment down below i also completely understand that everyone's taste buds are different so this may taste different to you than it is tasting to me no i don't like it at all so that's gonna be fourth place and that is it. Those are all of Duncan's holiday drinks as far as I know. Like obviously you can get any of these hot or ice. There's variations, but like those are the main flavors, I guess. I am now gonna go inside of my house and drink the rest of this because it is super good. I just really enjoy tasting different coffees and rating them because it just gives me an excuse to buy multiple coffees. This is a great thing for me and i hope that it's also a great thing for you like i had fun i hope you guys had fun and with that being said that is the end of today's video so thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you liked it if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up if you stay until this point in the video comment down below i'm a real one because you're a real one if you want to see more videos from me make sure you hit the subscribe button i post a new video every single sunday of course after the 12 days of christmas is over my posting schedule will go back to sundays as normal if you forget that i post a new video every single sunday or you just want to get notified right when i post a new video Video. make sure you turn on my post notifications it's a little bell icon so that you never miss an upload and you can get notified exactly when i post a new video so yeah i think that's it i hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>